Y'all, this video irks me. This guy right here shot into this woman's apartment while she was there with her kids and in a six hour standoff with law enforcement got killed by police. Now all these protesters are outside marching and rallying for him outside her apartment building. So all because this guy happens to be black, you gotta go march and rally for him even though he could have killed a single mother and her children? Think about how simple you have to be thinking that just because he has black skin, some people think that he needs to be defended. You play stupid, dangerous games, you win stupid, dangerous prizes. And this woman has a black child! And they're here all in the name of what? Black Lives Matter, apparently? I don't know how much more evidence anybody needs to know that this woke stuff is garbage. And this poor woman, I cannot imagine the amount of frustration she must feel. Two. That's that black culture, man. By Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Rakakadash, the honor to the apostles and elders of great millstones. Salutation to you, Aki, and pushing this word in truth, sincerity, with charity. Okay. And um, basically, us who are in this truth, we understand both time and judgment, as the scripture says. Okay. And the scripture says, the foolish, uh, roughly paraphrasing, the foolish men uh, uh, understand not judgment, man. All right. None of the wicked shall understand. All right. Um, the scripture says, they die even without wisdom. Okay. All right. Us that are in the, that are in the truth, we understand why you niggas get gunned down, why you're in the position that you're in as a whole. See, Yahweh Bashem the, the the power of Israel, has um, sicked his uh, red dog on you, man. The, the the hounds of hell, which is the so-called white man, Esau, Edom. Why? Because you niggas are wicked. You're unrepentant. All right? And you've made yourself an enemy of the Most High. And I'm going to read some more. Uh... This is Romans uh, 13 and 3. <sighs> For rulers are not a terror to good works, right? And um, yeah, like it says up, you can't resist the ordinances. You can't resist the powers. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai set Esau, eat up to, eat him, Esau, eat him, the so-called white man, up to rule right now. So coming against him is coming against the Lord. That's just what it is. Like it, love it, believe it or not. I mean, do whatever the hell you want. At the end of the day, he's the one with the gun. All right? He's the one with power, in the power seat. All right? And the Lord put him there, man. Okay? For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good. And thou shalt have praise of the same, right? If you're following the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahshah, then you shall be defended. All right? You guys are walking, you, you two-thirds, you're walking the earth butt naked with no defense, man. The scripture says, he that breaketh the hedge, the serpent shall bite him, man. You have no hedge, man. So that serpent is on your ass, man. 
Okay. You know, and this is another reason why we don't feel sorry for you two third niggas when you die. We actually rejoice at your death, man. Fuck you. Because uh, anybody who's an enemy of Yahweh Bashem Yahashah, the living God of Israel, is our enemy, man. That's the way we look at it, man. King David said the same thing, man, in the book of Psalms, man. I, I hate you with perfect hatred, man. I count you my enemies. We'll love you on the other side, man. Right now, you are uh, in the way of sinners, man. For he is the minister of Yahweh to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. <laughs> right. So if you being an unrepented two-third nigga, be afraid. Right. For he beareth not the sword in vain. Right. And Esau Edom, as the scripture says, O thou Assyrian, the rod of my anger. Okay. The scripture says, uh, the wicked, which is thy sword, man. So Esau is the whipping stick. He's the sword. He's the weapon in the hand of Yahweh Bashem Yahshah to punish you niggas right now, man. You know? So you motherfuckers marching and shit, you marching for the for the wicked, man. You know, Scripture says, he that justifies the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abomination. Not saying that Esau, Edom is the just. He's definitely the wicked. But you are... But you are justifying the wicked, man. These niggas is wicked. That nigga in that video was wicked and the Lord judged that nigga, man. Why? Because he wasn't walking in the ways of righteousness. He was unrepented nigga, man. For he is the minister of Yahweh, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Okay? So... If you're doing evil, if you're doing wickedness, Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai is going to sick his big red dog, Clifford, okay? Dog the bounty hunter, okay? Esau Edom, the big red dog, on your ass, man. And that's what it is, man. Okay? That's what it is, man. You know? And the sword is upon you, man. You know? Okay. Let me get this. Is Ezekiel um, 21, 21, is Ezekiel 21 and 9, son of man prophesy and say, thus saith Yahweh, say a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? It contemneth the rod of my son as every tree. So the sword shall be upon the people of the Most High. All right, the ones that are unrepentant. All right, that refuse to return. Okay, the sword is upon you, man. And he hath given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give into the hand of the slayer. Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. It shall be upon all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite their poor upon the thigh. Okay. So and, uh, uh, um, So that's what it is, man. This is uh, Isaiah 10 and 6. I will send him against an hypocritical nation. And that's some hypocritical shit, man. That dude ran up in that woman's house, tried to kill her and her baby, had a shootout with the police, and they're marching for this nigga, man. This ain't a nigga who stole a candy bar, man. 
All right, this ain't a nigga who stole a bag of chips out of convenience or and and then got shot in his back walking away, man. Okay, this ain't that. This nigga, <laughs> uh, 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 even by Esau's standard and his law, it, it was righteous for him to get put to put down, man. But these niggas are trying to justify the wicked, man. That's because they are wicked, man. Only the wicked would justify the wicked. And that that woman was pissed, man. She was crying out about that shit, man. You know? How the fuck are you uh, uh, marching for a nigga who tried to murder me and my child, man, in our own home, man? You know, you, you niggas are wicked, man. And the Lord's going to do a slaughter, sore slaughter on two-thirds of you niggas, man. And against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the street. So, hey, so you say why, we say why not, motherfucker, man. Why, 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 you know, why my baby had to die? Why Pookie had to die? Why Ray Ray had to die? Why not, nigga? Why not? You know, why should you live, man? <laughs> you know? And it sounds like Yoda, if so powerful you are, why live? <laughs> why live? You know, why did why what were you contributing to, to 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 your people, man? You know, other than uh 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 terrorizing your own people, man. You know? This, this nigga was a goddamn demon and the Lord judged his ass. Simple as that, man. Hey, but don't worry, man, because you guys... See, the funny thing is you guys tore your ass with this protesting thing. You niggas will protest anything now, man. Now the time's coming where, shit, the Lord's going to put it on the, the spirit on this devil. You guys are going to be protesting one day and then you all just going to be laid out together, man. I remember you guys had those die-ins... You know, protesting um, that one nigga that got choked out a few years back. These these niggas would uh, protest by laying on the ground dead. Well, you that was a precursor of what's what's to come, man. All right, <laughs> it's gonna be a die in. All right, you 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 guys gonna be doing it for real. You know, it just show you how wicked and hypocritical our people are, man. You know that hypocritical nation, man. But you ain't seen nothing yet, man. Uh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Let me get another one. I hope I'm wording this right. All right, this is Jeremiah 10 and um, um, right, this is Isaiah 10, this is Jer so like Jeremiah 10. And um, 22, behold, the noise of the brute has come and a great commotion out of the cities, out of the commotion out of the north country to make the cities of Judah desolate and a den of dragons. Right, that brute, the Lord's going to send that brute on your ass, man. What does he say about this brute, man? Okay. You ain't seen nothing yet, man. You you ain't seen the devil get down like how you about to get down. This is Ezekiel twenty one and thirty one. He finna send that that brute, man. He finna send that caveman to kill your ass, and it's gonna be so easy that a caveman can do it. And I will pour out my indignation upon thee, and I will blow against thee in the fire of my wrath. And deliver thee into into the hand of brutish men, and skillful to destroy. 
and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna know you know you niggas rap about being gangsters and thugs and killing how many people you killed how many bodies you got you're gonna see the real murderer very soon man the real the, the man that's truly skillful to destroy man nobody's a, a, a skillful killer like Esau Edom and nobody's been able to subtly poison your water and sell it to you He's, nobody's been able to poison the air poison the womb poison the mind to just everything is weaponized nobody's been able to weaponize everything like Esau Edom nobody's been able to kill like this uh, 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 man this, this man is about to destroy wonderfully man all right, and then after the, the the Lord's done beating you with his sword or his axe or his hammer or his stick, whatever you want to call him, just destroying weapon, Cain, Quion, after he's done unleashing Cain, he's going to destroy him, you know, <laughs> you know, but you niggas are a bunch of hypocrites, man, and the Lord's, is, his indignation is upon you, all right, he's going to sick that dog on you, man. All right? He gonna sick the Leviathan on you, man. All right? And I'm not talking about the real Leviathan. I'm talking about Esau Edom, man. The so-called white man. He's also known as a great dragon, a great serpent, man. You know? And that's what the Lord is about to sick on you. See, this is the devil's last hoorah. This is his last chance to get his hands on you niggas, man. And have his way, man. <laughs> And he's going to do that in very skillful fashion, man. And the scriptures say that, man. So you niggas ain't seen nothing yet, man. You know. This is his last chance to, 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 to get his hands on you. He's going, you know, he's going to make the best out of it. You know, because the Lord's going to put the spirit on him to do so. You know. But this is a little lesson I wanted to do, man. The hell with you two third niggas, man. A bunch of hypocrites and, um. I like the way you die, boy. You know? Shalom, I'm in the Bible, ball.